Hey guys, welcome to Life Skills. We're going to see Module 5, Styles of Leadership. I'm Lizette Rahim, Assistant Professor MBA, Srinagar Institute of Technology, Ardur. Leadership styles. We're going to see six leadership styles in this session. The coercive style, the authoritative style, affiliative style, democratic style, pace setting style, and the coaching style. The coercive style means coerce means to force, right? Coercive means forcing. So the force, you're forcing somebody to follow you. So the leader is always demanding immediate compliance. Authoritative, it means you're using your power or status or position to mobilize people towards a goal. Affiliative style, it means your control. Affiliative here means, affiliative means emotions. You know, you're trying to find affection. You can take affiliative as uh, dealing with feelings and emotion. You're trying to create an emotional bond and harmony between your followers. Democratic style, it means to build consensus through participation. So you're taking into view of everybody involved and then you find what is the understanding, what they want, everybody wants in unison. Okay, what is that everyone needs? That is consensus. Consensus means to achieve. Consensus means what is everybody's viewpoint on a particular matter. And if everybody agrees to a particular view, viewpoint, that is known as consensus. Pace setting. Pace setting means here they expect excellence and self-direction. That means the leader is such a person who wants people to always be like him, always achieve excellence, always hardworking, be always motivated. Coaching style means that is developing people for the future. The leader comes up with new ideas. He tells his, uh, his followers, you, I have certain ideas. You, I think it will be useful for you too. That is coaching style. So let's see the different styles one by one. Authoritative style. So the authoritative leader mobilizes his team towards the goal. His style is suitable to deal with problem people. Style won't work out when employees are more skillful than the leaders. So the leader comes up with certain ideas. If the leader's ideas are not that good, people won't follow him. Authoritative style. Authority means a person comes up with authority. So he, the, the tag word would be, the phrase would be, come with me. It is effective when change is required. All of a sudden, when there is no direction and someone comes and says, okay, I have an idea. Come on, let's do this. That is what happens in authoritative style. But it's not effective when there are a team of people who are more experienced, more um, qualified working with this person. If they come, the leader comes and says, okay, do it my way. That means that he's trying to show off. People won't listen to that person. Right. Affiliative style. Affiliative means the leader is more concerned with the feelings and needs of the employees rather than meeting the deadline. So instead of saying meeting the deadline, he's looking at, okay, someone is sick, he didn't turn up, okay, okay, fine, uh, you, do, you do it when you're free or when you're um, well enough. But what happens is that the work gets spent up, the performance of the entire group is below standard or below performance standards so the employees uh, are not feeling stressed or anything but they're not achieving anything also so that is affiliative state the the sad part of affiliative state it's effective when there are problems in a team to motivate people during stressful circumstances and build a sense of belonging okay it's not effective because People will give more freedom. They won't work at all. So they will be like, okay, fine, let's do something. And the leader will is, is okay with us. He's always concerned about our feelings and emotions. So the leaders uh, leave them you know, without any direction. So there is no direction in this style. Next one is coaching style. This style concentrates on continuous personal development. So the leader is such a person, he gives challenging tasks, gives, gives new ideas and coaches them to uh, you know, find out solutions to certain challenges. And um, the failures of uh, the followers are tolerated. Okay, fine. But um, it always works with people who are really young and enthusiastic. Okay, this style doesn't work with people who are aged or who are looking for retirement or doing a mediocre work. 
okay it's it's starting stage of when when people just join a company coaching style will help those young stalwarts those young people to achieve certain goals the course is style we can say do what i say effective in a turnaround situation turnaround situation is when the company is sinking or the organization is not uh, doing any good business or not bringing in profit at that point of time someone comes from outside or within the company and brings about a change and uh, changes the situation that is a turnaround situation it is affected during a natural disaster when there is no one around and nobody has any plan and everybody is so stressed out somebody has to take up the challenge and becomes a leader and say okay let's do what i say when working with problem employees okay so when you have so many employees who are not at all working somebody has to follow this style it's like your dad punishing you when you are a kid when you behave badly okay so that is a kind of course style an example okay not effective in any other situation it inhibits organization's flexibility and dampens employees motivation that is the biggest demerit so employee um, the organization is not flexible okay people are not motivated enough in a course of study they work for some dictator this style demands immediate compliance <laughs> obeying orders without any question right next one is a democratic style democratic style is what do you think is the question is what do you think what do you think always asking others uh, opinion okay it is good for participation building consensus um it is good people are op operating in a democratic system they are always thinking about what but the thing that can come up is some people come up uh, with uh, really not good ideas okay mediocre ideas and sometimes uh, people are not sure what they want okay some democratic leaders use a style to put off making crucial decision and people end up feeling confused and leaderless so crucial decision is given to a bunch of people and they are also not coming up with good ideas maybe the entire thing will be a flop okay so in this style there is not much uh, conflict coming up in democratic style people are all uh, they are ready to voice their concern and uh, they are ready to contribute everybody's uh, views are taken into consideration the style is best when the organization needs harmony and among the employees and is to get fresh ideas from everyone so when the organization is trying to reach a stage where Uh, everybody's ideas are taken suggestions are taken for example developing a no new project okay so the company has to come up with a new product and it's taking suggestions from its employees there is a participation of the employees in that suggestion so that is a kind of democratic style of leadership next one is space setting style it is <laughs> do as i do now that means the leader is very effective okay the leader is very uh, um agile very uh, charismatic very energetic and he expects the same from his employees also so it is required when we have to get quick results okay quick results are required the leader sets high performance standards and people are always trying to set a pace okay the leader is setting a pace okay we have to reach this in such a such a we have to complete this project in two days okay let's do this so he is obsessive about completing the target in the due time and the people are rushing to complete it so what happens is then the employees will feel let down they feel like okay we are being rushed into something we are not really uh, ready for that and uh, destroys the employee uh, cli I mean, the climate in the organization where everybody was happy doing their job and suddenly they have put into a pace where they have to work really hard put in more hours okay it disrupts so many things they have conscientiousness these leaders they have very goal driven okay they are goal driven they try to drive in such a way that they have to achieve at any cost and they have a lot of initiative and they expect the followers to do the same Pace setting style. So here, the leader sets high standards of leadership. He demands excellence and urges the employees to complete the task faster and better manner. So this is the last style of leadership. I hope you understood the video, and I'll see you next in the types of leadership. Thank you.